Hey, hey guys, Maxman RC once again. So, I was gonna go on ahead, and like I said, we got, we're back with the Stinger today, all right? <laughs> so here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to run the Stinger, let me move you guys back a little bit here. I'm gonna make this a short video this time. I wanted to run the Stinger with the 3S battery. <laughs> Except silly me, rookie mistake, I forget. 2S battery, 3S battery. Yeah, the 3S battery is a little chunkier. So with that being said, the 3S battery is not gonna fit on the rig. Uh, I won't be. I can somewhat, you know, zip tie it and hold it on just to see how it works. But that's that's we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do things right here. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're not gonna go on ahead and uh, do the 3S run right now. Instead, what I figure what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna go ahead and move the ESC over I should have enough space in this small tray right here I can put the ESC here if I need to I can fab something and then stick the AC ESC I'm sorry on there and that's how we're gonna do this that'll give me enough space for basically any size battery that I would like to put move the ESC out of the way and uh, I think I think we're gonna go on ahead and take that route and I think that's gonna be our best option it shouldn't be that big of a deal and that's going to be the first major modification major modification to this thing because honestly i don't think uh anything else needs to be done to this thing this thing is perfect as this so uh unfortunately like i said i'm not going to go on ahead and do the 3s run i don't have any other uh smaller 3s batteries so and the idea is I always buy these kind of batteries to begin with. So I don't want to be getting a new set of batteries just for this. And then next thing you know, those that set of batteries isn't going to fit properly in the in another rig. So since these are my usual go-to, the Huvu batteries, and I'm just going to keep on getting those, I'm just going to go on ahead and uh, modify it so I can fit those batteries in there instead. And we'll go from there. I'm already using an adapter for that 3S because the 3S is using an IC5. I'm sorry, an EC5, and uh, the Stinger uses a Dean's T, and uh, for any of you that actually follow me through Facebook or anything like that, or have seen me talk about them, uh, I, I use Dean's T connectors on anything 2S and under, and I use EC or IC5 preferably on anything 3S and up. Uh, it's, it's worked out for me. And let's face it, the 2S and under don't draw that much power, so I'm not too concerned about damaging anything. So unfortunately, uh, that's just what's going to happen right now. And right now, you know, I'm just going to drop the 2S battery in here, a fresh one. I'm just going to make a quick pass, some quick passes, and we'll just call it a day like that. You know, we'll just we'll just go in ahead and uh, do that for now. And uh, let's go. Okay, so I said screw it. We zip tight the 3S battery for the time being and it should be decent enough to run for now. So uh let's do a quick run on 3S. Give you guys a better field of view here. I love this little place honestly. You know what? Let's make you guys a little bit better. Let's drop you down more level to the car itself all righty it is a monster i gotta feather the throttle i can't just hit it it'll spin out Damn. 
I might have to GPS this thing. Oh, see. Diggity. Hi, I moved you guys up a little bit. We're not going to hit mud today. I don't want to get it too dirty right now. I'm amazed at this thing, how well it handles like 3S and everything. Just uh, how well it handles its steers. The power output on it. And all of that from a little brush motor, mind you. Okay, so it just came full fl a full blast to my foot. Completely hit the one of the arms. And nothing, no damage. Okay, so we had a little bit of technical difficulties. My mistake. Let's not do that again. wider view here just I said I wasn't gonna get it dirty. That didn't work out that well.
caught up on the branch. Oof, so really so much for not getting it dirty. Uh, looks like we might have a pebble in the driving mechanism. Oh yeah, there's definitely a pebble under. There you go. So just pebble got stuck, but nothing too bad. So you just keep them taking it. Right now, we're cleaning the tires. That's what we're doing. That's what we're gonna tell ourselves that we're doing. Cleaning the tires from the mud and the dirt. Ooh, look at that pizza cutter wheel. Give that a wheel some love too. Alright, so after all that, let's check the temps. I don't use thermometers, that's the uh, nah. So let's just go by feel. It's a little warm, but I can still I can still hold it. It's a little warm. It stinks. Stings, stinks, not stinks, stinks. But no, I mean not again. Alright, so Seems like I'm getting a little too excited here. Second time I hit the camera. So uh, we're just going to bring this to an end now. Um, this thing works wonderfully on 3S. It definitely picked up some good... Um, definitely picked up speed. That's for certain. Now I know you guys can't see it, but I'm doing this for a reason. So I gotta, I do have to put a GPS on this thing. <laughs> hey, what's going to the, to the camera again? <laughs> Saved it. Anywho, overall, this Stinger, by far, it is definitely one of the best purchases I've, I've made. I really do like it. I really do enjoy it. Like I said, only downside at this point that I found is that I can't really fit my regular 3S batteries in here. But a little modification, a little time, and that won't be an issue at all anymore. And I mean, like, I, I don't know if you guys can see it a little bit. You can kind of notice very, very faintly. Again, the ground is wet. But see right there, you can kind of see the tread marks of this thing, you know? So overall, I, if you get a chance, definitely, definitely pick one of these guys up. Uh, I wish I could help you guys with the link, but I don't know where to look for them. I don't know if they're going to be bringing them back. I hear that sometime June of next year, I believe. They might be coming back to their website, but, you know, who knows? Uh, I do know that they are, uh, I do know that they're really good at, uh, at what they do. And I, I really do like them. Overall, I really do like them. Would not trade this thing for anything. And honestly, for what I pay for this thing, really could not be happier. And of course, you know. Besides the battery issue, 
which actually isn't an issue, it's just the fact that my batteries don't fit. Uh, the only other downside to this thing that I can think of would be just the remote and the transmitter, but again, that's just preference. Definitely not one of my favorites, but it is what it is, and there's not much we can do about it, you know? You can always... Everything on this thing is hobby grade. This is a hobby grade RC, no matter what people say. It is not... It, it is cheaply priced. It is very, very... Um, budget friendly very budget friendly i do believe when they're new when they're uh when jacks is selling them i do believe they're under a hundred dollars but uh overall i mean it's a hell of a car and what you're getting for under a hundred dollars or a hundred bucks full 10 scale rc uh, full hobby grade everything is replaceable i do believe some traxxas parts might actually fit in this thing I mean, <laughs> I, can't, I can't say good enough things about this thing. This is by far one of my favorite RCs, and it's definitely not. I'm, I'm, I'm making it official right now. This thing is not going to be a shelf queen. No, sir. It's too damn fun for it to just sit. You know, it's just too damn fun for it to just be sitting around doing nothing. Just looking pretty. It'll still look pretty. But, oh, it is going to get some real good use. There you go, guys. Um, I'll go on ahead and I'll throw a GPS on it. Next time I get a few minutes. And, uh, and we're going to do these test runs. We're going to see how fast these, this guy can actually go on GPS. Uh, on GPS. Uh, 2S and on 3S. And we'll go from there, right? Um, thank you all for... You know for watching this for dealing with me and just in general thank you all for following me and for my uh recent followers thank you guys i really do appreciate it uh you know you guys are the ones that i do this for yes it's fun yes it you know it, it helps me unwind uh three kids my wife you know life can get hard at times and uh, there's really nothing better and some RC therapy. Alright guys, this was Maxman RC. You guys have a good day. Happy New Year. And hell, do the best you can guys, alright?